1920s, the soprano ukulele was always tuned in D, all the way through the, the modern age up until the late 90s. And then uh, more and more players started playing in C, and more and more builders started building ukes that sounded better in C. Normally, those little soprano ukes sing properly in, in D, the size of the body. Um, and so, uh, I've been teaching a lot of ukulele workshops around the world, and I think my skills have improved in teaching, for one thing. For another thing, I've come to realize that ukulele is a first instrument for a lot of people. So I really enjoy conveying a couple of things. First, how music works without using any terminology. Really, what's going on, how you can learn to expect to hear what's going to happen next. Um, at the same time, I encourage self-teaching and finding your own levels of curiosity, because that's really what the music boils down to. So, uh, I've done two DVD series, very intentionally called Uke Toolbox, uh, because I teach in both hands all the basic stuff you need to know to play hundreds of songs, rather than teaching you three songs, because a lot of music operates in the same way. Um, and um, so I've, I've given tools for learning how to get up the neck and learning how to observe what you're doing. We really start with some basics, but the thing is, I've been playing music 50 years, and the things I'm learning now are more basic and fundamental than ever. So we just begin with a couple of chords in the left hand, and we milk all the possibilities that you can get just in that little zone there. And at the same time, we work with the right hand, starting with one finger strums, and all the possibilities with one finger, two finger strums, and all the possibilities with that beginning to learn to pick individual strings. Uh, it, it's amazing what you can do just with a couple of fingers and three chords on these lately. At the same time, I start to introduce the concept of two finger chords that were discovered independently all over the world by guitarists and other string players confronted with European instruments without instructions. And with two fingers, you can get every major and minor chord in every key. And so, uh, volume two is progressive from there. Disc two grow, um, expands on all those ideas and begins to really start to break down the chords you need for uh, popular songs in the 20s, jazz, swing, mainland ukulele, and how to get up the neck, and how to start thinking in a way that you can start teaching yourself. That's really... Uh, you know, if, if you build a fire for a man, you keep him warm for a night. If you set a man on fire, you keep him warm for the rest of his life. So that's kind of a paraphrase of what I'm trying to do in this video. Uh, so, you know, we're covering lots of things like... And being able to connect things um, and working with taking chords and just simply pick, picking your fingers up and putting them down and seeing what you get. Some more complicated Hawaiian type of strum. For example, we start with something very simple. Start to teach strums like that, and then you can double it. same kind of information can be found over and over again. So self-taught musicians, including most of the world's ukulele players originally, it's just learning to increase your powers of observation. Music's all about listening, just like taking pictures isn't about pushing the button. And this video is meant for players of all types of ukuleles. So in the video I'm using some vintage Martin ukes, uh, a national resophonic ukulele, and then I'm also, uh, I've got an Australian-made uh, resonator uke in tenor tuning with a low string. So this video applies to people who play with low, low string tuning or re-entry tuning. Um, I'm also using a Mayamoe 
It's got a nice white fingerboard so you can really see my fingers easily on it. And uh, I address a little bit about using finger picks. All the movements are the same. When I play you with bare fingers, you know, just to give you a couple of strokes, there's a basic stroke. And with damping, I do a triplet stroke. And that two finger triplet stroke can really go fast. Um, and then when I'm finger picking, I'm, I can do just simple. With picks, um, it's it's the same thing, but it's a little more articulate, and so it's it's sometimes too aggressive for some types of ukuleles. But for playing single note stuff, it's really. But I never go up with the thumb ever. Um, I'm in fact. You know, the Portuguese derivation of the uke, the whole, some old-time Hawaiians play their triplet with a... I find that quite difficult. I teach that a bit in the video, um, and I teach a lot of this stuff. But uh, generally with picks, finger picks always up, thumb always down, and um, and so, so regular finger picking can really sound, you can get very kind of ragtime stuff like... and index finger as two sides of an imaginary flat pick and it's driven by the arm and the wrist so, so and this is a very a nice illusion that I teach on the video of how to make two things sound like three so on the uke our two things are down and up so if I just do twos it's one two one two one two one two but then you just change the numbers in your head one two three one lighter you go, like you're just flicking water off your fingers. And you, you, I use single events of them, so you don't just constantly go, but uh, uh, da-da-da-dum, da-da-da-dum. -da -da 